So Matthew's here with Business. We'll do shop dummies in just a moment. The serious stuff first, though. Uh, a new tax here in France could push up the uh, price of smartphones, couldn't it? Yes, that's right. Now, this uh, was one of a series of measures in contained in a report that's uh, all about helping protect the French uh, cultural sector. And this tax is one that's designed to be slapped on the price of smartphones. Could be up to 4% on the cost of a smartphone, tablets, other internet-linked uh, devices as well. Well, Oliver Ferry has more in this report. A tax on smartphones, tablets, laptops and e-readers is recommended by a new government commissioned report on France's culture industry. The tax will hit most notably companies like Apple, Samsung or Amazon. The multinationals are being pressed into service to help finance French culture. Yeah. These days, there is a transfer of wealth created by digital media that benefits the hardware manufacturers, hardware that's manufactured abroad and not in France. And it's to the detriment of our creative industries, which are French. The report proposes a tax of 1% on each sale. It will be a very light tax and will have no impact on users. But manufacturers could well pass the cost on to consumers. A smartphone priced at 600 euros could then cost 606, something that is not popular with the public. No more, no more. No, no, it's already expensive enough. Definitely not, it costs enough already. Among the reports, 80 measures and number could soon be adopted. These include lighter penalties for illegal downloading, but which could be more widespread than is currently the case. France's anti-piracy Hadopi law will be absorbed by the regulatory authority and films on demand will become more easily and quickly accessible after their cinema release. Well, that's my, uh, smartphones, rather, but uh, at the same time, the price of tablets is dropping away, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Uh, the uh, price of a tablet dropping by almost a third just in the first three months of the year. I suppose this is the inevitable effect of uh, more use of the technology, more competitors entering the market, greater competition pushing down those prices as well. The market research firm GFK also saying that uh, demand is expected to rise here in France uh, for tablets by 65% uh, this year. So it might be that uh, that increase from that tax won't, won't even be noticed with the price drops going on. Right, that's technology. Now tax. Um, tackling tax evasion is going to be uh, on the agenda at a meeting of finance ministers today, isn't it? Yes, the, uh, the finance ministers from all 27 European Union countries getting together. Lots of things on the agenda, as always, but tax evasion's really been something they've been focusing on lately. Some of the bigger countries in particular looking to uh, harmonise things and have more openness as well, in particular, of sharing of bank information. And pressure is likely to be strongest on Austria and Luxembourg within the EU those are the two countries with, let's say, the most secretive uh, banking systems. They've been holding out a little bit. Luxembourg making some signs that it's prepared uh, to allow sharing of information, although it's sort of holding back a bit now and saying that one thing it wants to see is uh, an agreement with Switzerland. And it's likely that those finance ministers today will give the mandate for formal negotiations to start with countries outside the EU, like Switzerland, like Monaco as well, uh, that have uh, their own particular banking arrangements. Uh, uh, to try and uh, get this harmonised and more transparency throughout the system. OK, let's have a look at the markets then today. Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, Asian markets, which are, of course, uh, all open for the Tuesday trading session. And as you can see, most of them have been falling back. The Shanghai Composite uh, there in China uh, down. Still some concerns there over the strength of the uh, economic recovery. Now, some of the day's uh, company news and Airbus has given a sneak preview of its latest long-haul carrier. That's the A350. The jet is a rival to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. The new Airbus uh, rolled out in front of hundreds of staff at its factory in southwest France. First delivery is expected in late 2014. And India's Tata Steel is writing down the value of its European assets by around 1.3 billion euros. The steelmaker blames the weak economy, particularly here in Europe, where demand fell by 8% last year. Well, the company employs 33,000 people in Europe, and around half of those are in the UK. Big retailers taking steps to improve working conditions in Bangladesh. It follows, of course, the, uh, the collapse of the clothing factory there that killed more than 1,000 people. Zara and H&M, among the brands involved, have agreed to carry out their own safety inspections and pay the cost of repairs there.
Now then, store dummies. Usually you walk around the shops and they're kind of in poses, aren't they? But a new model, um, it changes shape according to the dimensions of the customer. As seen uh, as a way to help designers improve their product. Have a look at this report. It's uh, Rochelle Ferguson. On the left is the classic shop mannequin. On the right, the eye dummy. The idea is essentially the same, except this fashion mannequin is capable of adjusting its size. The eye dummy gets larger or slimmer depending on measurements entered into its computerized program. Uh, so you can input your uh, individual measurements and the measurements will come out and this is very good for, for designers actually, especially if they are working for uh, multi-brands, uh, targeting uh, different customers. For designers, the eye dummy is revolutionary and could help them access new markets. For customers, there's a real advantage too. No need to attend fittings in person. They can simply send their measurements to designers who can alter the mannequin shape using a computer or even a smartphone. Eye dummy is actually a very great invention for us that easily just uh, put in the, the information and then I can um, uh, work directly on the dummy. The only downside, it seems, is the bulging cost. At almost $13,000, the eye dummy doesn't come cheap. But there's still time to save up. The robotic mannequin won't be on the market until early in 2014. <laughs> Impressive. $13,000 just to do that. <laughs> Would you pay if it was you rather than a dummy? <laughs> Good stuff. And now, Americans, they're going to lose uh, a famous face from their television screens, aren't they? They are. That face is uh, Barbara Walters. Every American knows who Barbara Walters is. She's been on their screens there. She is for 50 years. She uh, started in 1961. Wow. She was the first female co-anchor of uh, ABC <laughs> News programme. That was 1976. You can tell by the hairdo, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. There she is interviewing Richard Nixon, Fidel Castro and she got the exclusive interview with Monica Lewinsky uh -huh, as well after yeah, that yeah. whole drama with uh, President Clinton, shall we say. Well, now she's moved on to uh, a new show. It's called The View and it's been running for a number of years now, but she made an important announcement. She's 83 years old, uh, by the way. Uh, she made an important announcement on the show on Monday where she said that she is uh, stepping down. Let's take a listen to what uh, Barbara Walters had to say. So let me just say that take a breath, that I have been on television continuously for over 50 years. Oh, but in the summer... I was very young, Joy. I know you were. You I were 12. <laughs> <laughs> but in the summer of 2014, a year from now, I plan to retire from appearing on television at all. It has been an absolutely joyful, rewarding, challenging, fascinating and occasionally bumpy ride and I wouldn't change a thing. Barbara Walters there speaking on The View. Well, that, that show is hosted by uh, ABC, that network owned by mm -hmm. uh, Walt Disney, and uh, it's been an important money earner for them. So they will be very keen to make sure that it continues. She's going to stay on, actually, as an executive producer there. But uh, Walt Disney uh, actually saw revenues from advertising falling at its ABC yeah. channel. So uh, they will, uh, I'm sure, be slightly worried about losing someone like her exactly. from the screen. You did say she's 84, didn't she? she I said she's 83, 83. and I would say that... 83. She's looking she was remarkable 38. for an 83. <laughs> much better than we are at this yeah, time of the exactly. morning. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind looking at like 83. <laughs> I know I'm a different sex, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Matthew, we think we know. <laughs> exactly. Matthew Warren with the business. Uh, Claire's back with the latest news. She'll be here after the break. Do stay with us.